excited to have this opportunity to share with you just a few words and pray for our city. Over the years, I have developed this acronym that reminds me of moments like this that we need to come together. In the face of tragedy, we have the opportunity to rise up together as a nation, as a community, becoming one together, fighting for one cause, and that is justice, freedom, and equality for all of humanity. And so I leave you with these few words. The first one is love. If we can learn to love each other and see each other as human beings, not a race of white or black or yellow, but the human race, to love to love as we love ourselves, to love others, to see the best in them. The tragedy that happened to Tyree Nichols was out of hatred and not love. And we must always remember that it is love that will drive out hate as Dr. King so eloquently said. The second word is integrity. If we can walk in integrity, which means to do the right thing when no one else is looking. Those police officers that night did not do the right thing. They were in themselves. We don't know their heart, but we know it was violent it was cruel, it was inhumane, it was without integrity. But we know the majority of our police officers, as we see standing here today with us, are upstanding leaders who serve our community, and we appreciate you. But yet, we need integrity in our justice system, we need integrity in law enforcement. We need integrity across every aspect of our lives. And the next word is faith. For we cannot go anywhere without faith. That is believing that we can change. Believing that we can come together. Believing that all of the battles over the last 200 to 300 years are not in vain. That through faith, we can make a difference. Through faith, by believing in one another, by believing first in Almighty God, that He will give us the strength to overcome yet another mountain. This tragedy serves as an opportunity for our nation to come together. Together is my last word. Together we stand. Together we can lift up the brokenhearted. Together we can show love. Together we can have integrity. Together we can have faith to make a difference. Faith to change our society. And so as I go to my seat after this prayer, I want you to remember lift, love, integrity, faith, together. Let us pray. Lord, indeed we pray for the Nichols family. We pray for all who are involved in the hurting and the pain. But Lord, specifically today, I am charged to lift before you our city. And so I pray for Portland. I pray for Memphis. I pray for our major cities around the world. Lord, that you would bless and you would keep them.
Bless our officials right here in Portland. Bless our mayor, city council, our leaders. Bless the police chief, Lavelle, his team. Lord, protect them. And then we don't only pray for our officials, Lord, but we pray for our people, our citizens, that you would protect us in our coming and our going, that you would bring love into our city, that you would bring hope and peace and joy and justice into our city. Let us love our neighbors. Let us walk in peace. Let us care for one another. Let us look at each other with humanity in our minds and hearts to see each other as brothers and sisters. So God, we ask your blessing upon this great city. May your justice reign. May your peace reign. May your love reign. May change reign. We give you all praise and thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.